Amen. Well, praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. This is me, Apostle Esther. I want to thank you for joining me today for my YouTube channel. I want to thank all of my new subscribers. Thank you so much. Um, to my new viewers, to my um, all of my uh, wonderful friends that are sharing my content. Thank you so much. We are here simply to encourage you, to inspire you, and to motivate you. Um, to believe that God will do exceedingly abundantly above all that we could ever ask or think. So it is just a great pleasure and an honor um, to be able to serve in the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ and share with you what God is giving me. So thank you so much for joining me. I'm going to give you a moment to get your Bibles, your iPads, um, your notepads. We've been sharing from Habakkuk, uh, talking about... Um, the Lord speaking to us, are we hearing him? And we've been talking about uh, posturing ourselves to hear from the Lord. So today we want to move on to verse two and share what the Lord is saying. We'll be right back in one second. Habakkuk chapter two, verse two, we are right back. The Bible says, and the Lord answered me and said, write the vision and make it plain upon the tables that he may run that readeth it. So one thing that we are finding out about the Lord is when we cry to him, when we talk to him, when we ask him, God will answer us. Again, we have to posture ourselves so that whenever the Lord speaks, we're ready to receive the answer that he is releasing to us. And Abeka said, out of all of my distress, out of all the oppression, out of all of my affliction, the Lord answered me in this day, in this time, in this hour, and in this season. It is so important to know that we can get in a posture, in a position for God to answer us. When he answers us, we know that it is him. It is, it is his will concerning our lives. And he said, the Lord answered him and he told him, he gave him instruction. He said, I need you to write the vision and make it plain upon the tables. So on the tablets that you're writing your vision on, make it plain so that whoever runs, if they're running by, they can read it or they can get the vision and they can run as they read your vision. So when we get the answer from the Lord, we need to be positioned to also move forward with the vision. Don't just get the vision and not do anything with the vision, but begin to move forward or be able to share that vision so that whoever comes can read that vision, they can run with it, and they can share that with others. The Bible said, write the vision, make it plain upon the tables, so that whoever is running by or running with it, they can read it and they can understand the vision. God is giving us vision in this time, in this season, and in this hour. Make sure that you are not so busied in your life that you miss what God is giving you. Write your vision, make it plain, so that whoever is running, whoever comes in your path, they can receive your vision and they can move forward with the things that God has given you. I'm Apostle Esther. I pray that you are having an amazing day. We look forward to joining you on tomorrow. God bless you as always. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. God bless you.